<laughs> Y'all don't want me to do the open, trust yeah. me. <laughs> I mean, Just, what would you say for our opening? Do you let's have get a, right into it. Let's yeah, get to it. Right. Let's, get, let's to get, it. get to it. I yeah. like that. First up today, yeah. it's in honor of Sunday's big game. Mm -hmm. We brought in a big hitter, or should we say big leaper. I like leaper better. Yeah, I like leaper do. too. Yeah. The inventor of the Lambo Leap is here with us today for a live chat about football, party snacks, Donald Driver, everything else in between. Yeah. And you took a nice bath to for back. us today. Yes, yes. My one for the week. I did it this morning. Because <laughs> your girls always smell so good, so I, so I got to step my game up. So I'm uh -huh. very proud of myself. You nice. smell pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to vouch for you here on television. You smell really good. <laughs> and, and and you a, think we're crazy. A bath, not a shower? Yes, a bath, not a shower. A bath, I know some people think it's nasty because you're kind of bathing in your own water, yeah. but my water's clean. <laughs> See? And I take an hour bath. What's wrong with that? I think that's great. There's nothing yeah. wrong yeah. with that. It's I relaxing. picture you just like Very suds relaxing. all over, <laughs> singing, little pedal you know foot bathtub. You my players are all over me for this. <laughs> I know they are. <laughs> oh, you You're going to get rubber duckies as gifts. I was just going to say, but he's got a rubber Speaking ducky. Speaking of rubber duckies, Donald Driver. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I heard about it, I almost cried. You did? Yeah. Because being your favorite player for so long, you want him to play forever, as we, as we did with Brett Favre, as we want to do with myself, Reggie White, whoever. But when you can go and ask your best player who's ever been around to retire in a Green Bay Packer jersey, to me, makes a statement that yeah. he's not playing for the money. He's playing for his family, but he loves you guys and the fans. And doing things like the Lambo Leap is what Donald Driver has always stood for, so we love him. So he's one of your favorites? By far one of my favorites. And, and the reason why, 1999, seventh round pick, you come in, you don't really know what's going on. We went to two Super Bowls earlier, so he didn't know how to fit in. Mm -hmm. But how he fit in was hard work, dedication, and he never wanted to be this one player that, you know, how can I fit on the team? He was on all special teams. He was a smart guy, very engaging, and we just love the fact that he wanted to work hard. We love that. Well, you know, he always, you talk about looking good, you're going to yeah. play good if you look good. I mean, yeah. Donald Driver's yeah. a guy, every time I saw him, we used to see him at the, the um, Goodwill Fashion Show yeah. and yes, other things like that. Yes, He's always, always out on the yeah. town. Mm -hmm. Always takes his shirts off, and this is before Dance with the Stars. <laughs> yeah. He walks around the locker room with his shirt off, he's flexing. As a lot he of people know he's cut. He's mm -hmm. a pretty cut guy, so I was very proud of him. You know, I just... And the reason why I was so emotional because there's an attachment to players with their family, and you feel like you know them mm -hmm. personally. And I think uh, Wednesday when he does his retirement, it's going to be a lot of, you know, teary eyes. Yeah. I love what yeah. he said today. He was on Twitter and he was telling everyone, yeah. "Thanks for sitting out in the cold because it's, you know, supposed to be a negative 20 wind yes. chill today." Yeah. He's like, yes. "Thanks yes. for sitting out there." He's like, "This is for you. Thanks for sharing it with my yep. friends and family." I thought that was really kind of him to acknowledge yep. that people are out there waiting mm -hmm. to get tickets to that. Well, if it wasn't for the fans, we'd be a nobody. True. So yeah. you have to acknowledge that, and I think that's mm -hmm. the reason why he didn't want to go and play for another team. You know, just kind of going on a down, you yeah. end on a high. What about, you know, I think a lot of people, I mean, we've talked about it so many times before, wish Brett Favre had gone out in a green and gold jersey. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's talk about that. That was hard, you know, for yeah. a lot of Packers fans. And I just wonder, you know, he's kind of, there's been some talk about him doing some stuff for NFL yep. Network, mm -hmm. um, some commentary. He should be doing it here. Yeah. Oh, you think? He should be doing it would here. Would he be welcome? He'd be sitting right on that couch. We'd have a great time. <laughs> and I think he would be welcome, Tiffany. Now? Because people understand it's a business decision. Mm -hmm. If Minnesota is going to be crazy enough to give him $20 million, go take it. Mm -hmm. But moreover, I'm going to be looking forward to seeing him on camera because I don't know if he's going to be engaging enough to give us the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I, I'm a little selfish and would like for him to be here. Let me work on that. Oh, yeah. I'll work on him okay. coming to the morning blend, sitting with you young ladies. We'd like talking. that. Do yeah. you keep in touch with him? I try to. Mm -hmm. I really do. But it's hard to kind of keep connection with guys. But for the most part, Brett Favre has been one of my favorites. And he played 16 years here. And it was a little discrepancy, him and the team. People have forgotten about that now. Mm -hmm. But he needs to come back and thank these fans in this great state. And I think the people will welcome him back. You know, he I told some people in our office, he did something really sweet mm -hmm. for um, a neighbor friend of mine Surprise. who oh, yeah. had a relative um, yeah. die, and he was a longtime, mm -hmm. lifelong worker for the mm -hmm. Packers. He was like in the maintenance crew or something, knew the, yep. knew the guy's name, called him by name. Anyway, he mm -hmm. was dying, um, you know, last year. And somebody reached out to Brett Favre and his family and said, hey, any Aww. chance you'd send an email or something? He called the guy, yeah. mm -hmm. remembered him, called yeah. him by name, made sure he got the phone number. I mean, and those mm -hmm. are the things that I think people, 
you know, they don't hear about maybe, they mm -hmm. don't see, you know, You're there's right. been so much negativity, but I think those are the things that for yeah. people who actually have an, an encounter with him stand out. He was one of the top five teammates of all time because when he got, came in from Atlanta, I was one of the few guys in that locker room from Lindy Infante that made the transition to Mike Holmgren. When he got into that locker room, he did not wait for guys to come to him. He went to each guy to introduce himself, mm -hmm. to welcome himself in. Because remember, we love Don Mikowski. Yeah. But Mikowski had a shoulder injury. He goes in Cincinnati, he makes that great pass, the rest is history. But he, I know people see you know, all this stuff on TV, but outside of that, he's a great guy. I mean, we love the fact that, you know, that he wants to be the best. He played in every game, so we just can't lose sight of that. Now he's retired. I think he should do more for the state of Wisconsin. I think that's a great idea. And, you know, we were talking in the office earlier about, you know, can you separate the person from the game? That's a good you know? question. That's and good you, question. Um, you, know, you brought up that point, you know, yeah, we can separate his business decision. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's because you like him as a person that I think yes. you're saying that. Yes. So what do you think about people like Ray Lewis who are in the news mm -hmm. and there's a little bit of talk about his personal life mm -hmm. versus his football life? Do you think that it's important for football mm -hmm. players and sports athletes to be role mm -hmm. models on and off the field? Absolutely. Uh, my role model was my mom, and that's well documented. But I think it's for the most part, when you go to another team, you engage new fans. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you get through with all that, people say, well, it's like talking to an ex. You have to be cordial <laughs> for the kids. Yeah. So Brett Favre is like the ex that, you know, you want to call her, you need to call her, but you just don't. <laughs> so you try to figure out how can I be a leader for my team. And when you get a guy like Ray Lewis to say, look, I'm retiring, the team rallies behind him, and next thing you know, they're in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So people love the fact that, you know, we are normal people. Maybe I'm very approachable. Most guys like to keep it private. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I love the fact that these guys, especially during the Super Bowl, you get a chance to see them more off the field a little bit. I love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. A couple quick things game-related. Um, Tiffany heard something on the radio today mm -hmm. about um, players who get 15 tickets yes. for the Super yes. Bowl. And then they have we to, to decide. We used to get 30. You used, used to, to get, get 30? 30? Yeah, 1996. We got 30 tickets. That was the last year we got 30 tickets. Wow. But how do you decide? That's the thing for these players Let with your 15 mom tickets. It. That's what they were saying Molly, on the radio. They said, give it to the it. mom because yes. isn't it distracting? Don't you have people yes. calling you being like, All give me a time. ticket? They want tickets, and for the most part, your mom will tell them we're here. Your mom said, listen. <laughs> You're not getting a ticket. This is my son. He's played all these hard hours. hours. No more emails. No more texting. And see, you can concentrate on the game. I it's like a lot that. of distractions. Really I know. Close that was like really well, good close. That, yeah, was, right. like that, that was to your mom almost, right? <laughs> yeah, that's like a, that's thank you. It's great that you guys bring that up. It's very intelligent because it's a lot of distraction. The number one distraction, mm -hmm. guys, is tickets. Yeah, I believe that. See, yes. that's the hounding of it. Well, yeah. and you know, you if you have two tickets, it's easy. You invite mm -hmm. your mom and your dad or your that's mom it. and your son or whatever. But if you yep. have 15, Right. That gets really yeah. hard. Yeah, Think you know, you got it. the cousins, the aunts, and uncles. It's like winning the lottery. Yeah. People it is are going to come like out of the woodwork. You invite people who have the same name as you. If mm -hmm. they don't have the same name as you, you don't invite them. <laughs> right. Who will, you be rooting for? <laughs> who will you be rooting for for the Super Bowl? Where will you Ooh, watch the, the game? The money question. Yes. Yeah. It's a very good question. I'll say where I'm going to watch it at first. Real quick, I'm going to be watching at Chula Vista um, with some of the breast cancer survivors down there. We had like a poll, do you want to watch the game with Leroy Butler? So we got a lot of people Who down wouldn't? there. Who wouldn't? Yeah. Right, but you got to be quiet doing the game. We can talk to them. <laughs> Because I want to be able to see Beyonce when nobody's talking about me. Yeah, see if so, she lip syncs or right. sings for real, right? <laughs> she looks so good, it don't matter. I know, she is but beautiful. I'm going to be watching it down there, and I'm going to root for the Baltimore Ravens to win because they've All been right. there for so many times, they had a chance to win. And I'm a little sour grapes because San Francisco beat my team. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I get yeah. that. Yeah. What's your favorite game day recipe? What do you like to eat for yeah, the game? Yeah, you're a cook. I am a big chef, you know, because working with Cindic, sometimes we have special things going on. And this particular week, we're going to do my special chili. You can learn how to make that mm -hmm. in my cookbook, which we is available cookbook. at Cindix. Yeah. And, and you got to have mac and cheese. I knew she you were knew it. Say Molly that. called it. Molly you were knows say me very it. well. I know she goes. I'm he's going to say his mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> we're going to prepare it and give it to some of the people. Got to have that. Yeah, yeah well, we I should know. have him come on the show and make his mac and cheese. Would you? Now we're going to have a thousand people. It will be no cameramen around. <laughs> Nobody producing the show. Everybody be up here eating mac and cheese. It's true. That's but the way I we like it. it. Yeah, I love it. We like a good shared meal. That'll be my favorite. That'll be my favorite. That is so great. Well, people can actually catch you cooking on February 10th. You're going to be at the Nary Show at one o'clock. What are you going to be cooking there? You know well, yet? it's kind of a surprise. Okay. <laughs> but I got three things going on right now. What I'm going to tell you. See. No. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Well, one of them, the dish I, I am very proud of, I'm going to be making fried spaghetti. And it's, mm. you make spaghetti on top of the stove. And you can actually, you know, go and uh, have a chance to be my guest chef. You can go to my Facebook page or the Neri um, guest uh, Facebook page, and you can go on there. You may get picked to be one of my guest cooks. I'm going to enter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. If I see your name on there, I'm picking you. <laughs> I, don't know if that's, I don't know if that's cheating or not, but who cares? <laughs> What about me? What if yeah. I go in together? Can she we told me not to invite team? you. I got to eat It's because I'll eat all the spaghetti. She likes all the attention. You know, I, you I know. Oh, I'm I know. Share. <laughs> and then on February 9th, before yes. that, you're going to be at Lindy's on Beulah and Dockside. And yep. you're going to be there with breast cancer um, survivors yes. supporting yes. that cause. It's an all day event. Doing a little ice fishing. I hope mm -hmm. it's not as cold as well, it is today. Black people don't ice fish, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't. Yeah, we just go to the fish market. We don't let y'all do that stuff. We don't. <laughs> I think ice fishing is bogus Jody anyway. Wells has put this great event together. We got five breast cancer uh, young ladies going to be there. One of them is actually going to win a car. I read oh, that. Wow. Yes. At 4.30, we, you're giving yes, away a car. We're giving oh. away a car, and they don't know which one we're going to give it to. I'm so excited because we don't wait for October. We do a lot of things year-round. and. And we're very, very excited. See, so all those little too. boys out there who dream things. of being an NFL football player. The thing yeah. is, yeah, football is great and all, but then when you retire, you get to give away cars. Yeah, yes. you learn how to take baths. You learn how to cook mm -hmm. and stuff like that. <laughs> and real quick, one of the biggest things we're talking about via Twitter with players, would you play with a gay player? Oh, that's, that's the right. biggest thing would right you? now. Absolutely. I, once you turn your lights yeah, off, it's your issue? business. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I don't care about people's bedroom, but that is a big issue right now because yeah. a couple of guys said they wouldn't because it's supposed to be a macho sport. But I me, I, don't, I, I was raised by my mom. I mind my own business. It gets too political with that. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, you're telling me if your best player was Adrian Peterson, Aaron Rodgers, or Peyton Manning, if you found that out, you wouldn't play with him? It's crazy. So yeah. I just think people need to just worry about what's in their own locker mm -hmm. and try to win the game. I like that. I'm yeah. glad that you said that answer. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, nice it's to crazy hear when that. people say other things like that. So. I think that mm -hmm. was yeah. the perfect way to leave this conversation. Me too. Yeah, yeah. I like you even more. Congratulations to Donald Driver. Yeah, yeah. I love Thank it. You. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you guys yeah. didn't do your running, man. No, oh. somebody said we got to make up something different. So next time yeah. I'm on... Me and Tiffy have a better routine. Okay, okay. we'll actually yeah. come up with a cheer. I got more responses <laughs> for the running man than anything. So you actually made me famous. <laughs> I love it. I love Everybody that was in man. the '80s was like, "Hey, I love that." <laughs> <laughs> but the kids were watching. Mom, what are they doing? My yeah. favorite was you like, yeah. "Oh my butt!" <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so nice to have you here. Right. Thank, right. you so Thank you so much. Thank you very much.